Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Mr. Remont Calculator. Today I'm presenting you the difference quotient and a rule of maxima and minima. Now, don't worry if you don't get any of this crap. I deleted my last channel. I had all the background videos and everything, and ugh, it was annoying. I had like 50 subscribers. I'm like, yeah, but then I had to delete it. Got backed up on schoolwork and everything, so... I'm not going to redo all of them. I'm just going to redo the most important videos. Um, so today we're going to look at the difference quotient and maxima and minima. I might have to make this a two-part video because, you know, YouTube's 10-minute uh, rule. So, you know, what are you going to do? All right, so if you see the board, which I'm trying to position it. Yeah, I really need to get, like, a digital video camcorder or something because, honestly, uh, my laptop uh, kind of has crappy recording quality. So, uh, you guys can see that. I'll move my mouse out of the way. Okay. Difference quotient. How is this baby derived? I will show you. And I learned this in pre calc the other day because it was like my final day and everything. So let me send it this. Right there. Perfect. Okay. Star axes. Just conveniently label these y and x. I'm assuming you guys know that. I mean, if we're studying calculus now, then we should probably know that. Let's say we have some curve. Uh, just gonna draw something like that. Some sort of cubic, I would assume. Yeah. Let's call it f of x. Now, this video assumes you have basic knowledge in the uh, properties of functions. So, if you don't, um, a good resource would be Patrick JMT, Math Mikey. Um, check out those channels because they, um, they have some good uh, background. I know Math Mikey has some good videos on the properties of functions. So, if you're not very, um, if, you, if you don't uh, have the fundamentals down, check out his channel or Patrick JMT. Either one of those two. Those are the best I've seen so far. Okay, a secant line that we learned in math class is the average slope between two points. You guys know that. Uh, change in y, delta y over delta x. In calculus, we use delta. It's the Greek letter, and it means, here, let me write this slope. Average slope, ABG slope, is equal to the change in the y coordinates over the change in the x coordinates. That means if we have two points, let's say right here and right here. We simply just draw a line through them and delta y over delta x is the slope of this line. In calculus, we don't look for this secant line. I know I'm horrible at drawing straight lines without a ruler. Uh, but, um, okay, in calculus, uh, we're not looking for the average slope, but we're looking at the slope at a point, which means, here, let me uh, get my Trusty tissue here. Don't even have a real eraser. Let's erase this. We'll still have our uh, two points, but uh, no, we won't have our two points. I'm sorry. In calculus, we're looking for the slope at a single point. Like, what's the slope at this point right here? There's no change in the x coordinates, so delta x is zero. And as everyone knows, or at least I think they know if the denominator of a fraction is zero, it does not exist. So we can't do that with basic mathematics. So, how do we find this, you say? Well, let's look at this at a general approach. Let's say this one point, let's pick two points again. Because this is called the recursive method. We'll have two points, our original two points, here and here. And they increase by some interval h. So we'll have this point. Uh, let's draw perpendiculars to the x and y axes. Call this point um, x, f of x. So we know f of x is the height at a certain point. This point right here will be... Um, I don't, I don't have any space. Crap. Uh, here, let me try to make this a little smaller. I'm sorry. So, we got our first point is x 
f of x. Our second point is x plus h, because we're increasing by some value h, f of x plus h. What's the slope between these two points? Uh, using the slope formula, so if you guys don't remember, slope equals y2 minus y1, no, y2 twice, my bad, over x2 minus x1. So if we take these two points, we have f of x plus h minus f of x over uh, my knees are hurting. Minus x plus h minus x. Now we can do quite a bit of simplifying here. So let's erase the general formula since we don't need that anymore. Let's erase the graph too because it's taking up space now. Now we get the formula. So let's rewrite this. We have f of x plus h minus f of x over x plus h minus x. Okay? The denominator x and minus x, that's going to simply cancel out, so we'll just have h. Alright? That's going to be the slope between two points. Now we're looking for one point, so we're going to zero in. That means as h approaches 0, and in calculus we write this as the limit as h approaches 0. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the difference quotient equals the derivative, which is written as f prime of x. Alright, uh, I'm going to stop this short because uh, I don't want to run out of time. Um, you know, it'd be kind of weird. Uh, it won't be weird, but, you know, it's going to leave you kind of uh, confused at the moment. Next video, part two, I'm going to make is going to have uh, what is maxima and minima and the general rule for polynomials, the derivative of polynomials. Uh, I'm Re Mr. Remind Calculator, uh, signing off. Oh, as a note, two channels I think you guys should really, uh, I mentioned them earlier, but uh, in case you didn't, Patrick JMT. Very good, um, very clear. Uh, his videos are a lot smoother than mine. It goes to a lot more depth. He talks about like binomial distribution. You'll love this guy. He's awesome. And another one is um, Math Mikey. Great with all his videos. He does um, GSME um, mathematics, high level, A level mathematics. So I think you guys will like his channel too. Check out those two. Be sure to subscribe, comment, rate, and everything. I'm Mr. Read My Calculator, signing off.